Hey there, friends. Let's talk about Digital World Acquisition, DWAC, ticker for this stock, which this is directly linked to Truth Social, which these soon will be linked as one as Truth Social with a brand new ticker and what is going on here. So I talked about this stock about four or five days ago at this point, and some new things had developed since then, a lot really in the pricing of it. This week has been phenomenal with the stock. Looking at a five day chart here, we went all the way up to $17. Now, we have not seen 17 here in quite a while. Uh, this is this is fantastic. We haven't seen this anything this close since July of this year when we hit around 20. And that was because we were hearing talks of the merger, then the merger got pushed back, Trump went to it, one of his first, second court cases I can't keep up at this point. Now, I, I don't want to talk too much over of what I've already talked about, but if, if you didn't watch that last video, I made just some key points here to remember with this stock that I, I have to say is that finding news, finding news with Truth Social, uh, with the actual physical company, with a balance sheet, with their plans, what they're doing, is very divisive when you're looking it up because obviously the general media out there is against True Social. They're against Trump, and um, and I'm not saying anything bad for or against Trump right now. So if you're in here just trying to troll me to do things like that, we're we're strictly here talking about an investment. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about a company that a lot of us are thinking there's potential that big things are going to happen for this company. So with that, let's talk talk about that situation. Now, obviously, the main key thing right now is the final development, the final deal, the final push, the final pen to paper, digital world, and true social combining as one, and true social being found on the stock market, and probably people taking it a little more serious. And it's hard to put up information here about true social because uh, I, I'm not even joking. I mean, you can go look yourself. It is hard to find anything that is not even maybe bias in the sense of this is an interesting platform. Everything is just extremely negative towards True Social, toward, towards Trump, and it's like we're just trying to find some black and white conversation on what's going on with this company, and it is very difficult. So with this merger, we know that this is going to happen here soon with all accounts it happening that it's actually... But we are waiting on this merger to take place. Um, it, obviously, it was supposed to happen already a, f a couple times and it got delayed pushed back but I, I do believe that we are headed in 2024 where Trump is going to uh obviously be pushing true social like never before and true social is going to be used as a really big platform for his campaign now once again why is this important this is important because true social will be running ads um, there will be companies that are Hey, they're wanting to run their ads on True Social because if you remember Trump's last campaign was strictly mostly ran on Twitter, Facebook, and I hate to break it to people, but you know he's up in the polls right now. Um, so if you're investing in True Social, this is like this is fantastic. This is what you want. Now, once again, some news about True Social. Yes, the company has lost money, but the company has lost money in the sense of building it up. And more than likely, with True Social, they're waiting for this year. They know that 2024 is going to be a huge year for them as a media company or whatever we're trying to call it here. But as of everything I'm saying right now, this is total speculation of what has and what is to come. And what we're thinking that could possibly be happening here within the next this year coming is that True Social could really find an, a different gear here and really, really become more popular as Donald becomes more popular in the polls here. So going to the chart here, True Social, honestly, you know, it's never really had a terrible day in the market in the sense of, you know, losing a double digits here. And, and I talked about this before, but I do want to bring this to your attention. Here's my whole argument of True Social right now. Here's my whole argument. So for the person writing about their balance sheet, you know, the loss, all that... 
I get that. I get that. But being in the market for any amount of time, one thing that I have seen and that I've learned is that you can make a lot of money on stocks just by hype. And here's what I mean. Going back to 2022 here, May of that year, this is right when the news really broke of True Social working with Digital World Acquisition. Now, from that October of 2021 to the May of 2022 that I just talked about, those were really big months in between there because people thought, okay, well, the deal's happening right now, um, and, and it didn't, obviously. This, this has been a long, ongoing thing uh, that's been happening here in front of us, and obviously since then, Trump has been in and out of the courts, being arrested, mugshot, the whole nine, and the, the country has gone through a lot of things, so True Social... Um, has not sealed this deal 100%. Now, with these numbers that you're seeing right here, these numbers are just on hype alone. These are numbers just on hype. These numbers weren't built on balance sheets. These numbers weren't built on quarterlies. These numbers weren't built on, hey, we just signed a $10 million deal with X company. These were strictly Trump's in charge of a platform, He owns a social media company. So with that, are these numbers going to come back? I don't know that they're going to come back 100%. As crazy as it may be and sound, you have to believe that Digital World, yes, could see some very high numbers here going into this year, especially if the deal is finalized here at any time. So will we see 30, 40, 50, 60 even this $90 price range again. I, I'm definitely not going to say we're not. I, you know, Like I said, we're just following breadcrumbs here. This is all speculation of what could happen. Um, I definitely would not bet my house on it, but I think it would be silly to say that digital world is going to go under $10 or it's never going to see $20 to $30 again. Just off the deal happening and just with Trump, running his campaign extremely hard in 2024. So friends, if you're still listening to me yap about this, l- listen, I, 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 I'm I right there with you. We're looking at this right now with just guessing game of what this might turn into. Um, it's strictly speculation of what could possibly happen. Is it too rich to buy in at 1617 right now? Personally, I don't think it is. But the one thing that does scare me is that the deal has not happened yet. So if the deal were to happen and you're still buying this at 1617 going into 2024, if you're willing and able to wait, we might see ridiculous numbers with Digital World again. Well, excuse me, it'll be true social by then. As safe as a play that may sound, it's also a very dangerous place still at this moment. But one thing's for certain, Trump's not going anywhere. True social, he's going to have it up and have it out there either way, as long as he's running. As for the future of true social, I I don't know. I, I really don't know. But what I do know is right now is that as Donald grows, true social is going to grow with him. So friends, I really do wish all of you the best of luck. I I really do want to give people better information of what's happening here, but this is really just following breadcrumbs and really trying to figure out what is going to actually be happening here month by month. And if you'll notice, the general media, they don't talk about True Social. They're not going to. Just like me talking about these articles, um, you can look it up yourself. They all have different numbers. They all have different quotes here to there. And uh, I think there's just a lot of speculation too. Now, Obviously, I can say I can go to True Social and look up stuff, try to find things. There's a lot more things there that are private. Um, this is still not a, it's like it's not like finalized public company either. So it's still iffy trying to find things. Um, but you're looking at that side of it too. And obviously, True Social is not gonna really talk about you know bad things about True Social itself. You're investing strictly on hype i believe i believe you're investing on hype i I don't believe that true social is going to be revolutionary and changing the world of media i I think it's going to be what it is and it's going to be just opportunity when opportunity strikes for you as an investor it's a fun play it's an interesting play and it's going to be a very 
talked about play going into 2024. Friends, take care. I will talk to you soon.